What's up guys, Tech Hawk here, back with you for another Moto Vlog. Thought I'd do a video today. I had a couple of questions. Uh, people asked me, is this bike, a Harley Davidson Street Rod 750, is it a good commuter bike? And uh, a lot of people had some questions and concerns over uh, whether they heard it got hot and wondered if it was comfortable for long rides and that sort of deal. Um, so I thought, what well, better place to do that than on my way home from work. And we're going to uh, let you guys see how it deals uh, in the interstate and traffic and all that other mess. Now just from having the bike for a few months and uh, I'm putting about 2,500 miles on it, uh, I can, I've ridden to work several times and the only time that uh, the heat and the overheating and all that has really bothered me is when it is just crawling. I'm talking like dead stopped, you know, having to put your foot down every five seconds, that kind of thing. Um, other than that, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, I wear, wear a long black jacket and blue jeans down here in Alabama. Right now it's probably 90 degrees, uh, partly cloudy, like 2000% humidity. It's hell, but, I can still um, can still deal on the bike. You know, when you're on a motorcycle, the little little shit just doesn't bother me. I got I'm just having fun, man. Who cares if you get a little hot. The second you speed up to 20 miles an hour or something, you're gonna forget it that you're ever hot. So, like, what the hell are you complaining about? So right now we're doing about 30. This is fairly new blacktop. It's pretty hot. And uh, I'm fine, no problem. I got a mesh jacket on, some uh, removable mesh inserts and shit, but uh, that's not, not too bad at all. Nothing I can't handle, anyway. Truck is smoking. Ugh. Now that, that's part of the commute right there. Getting stuck behind shit like that. I mean, this bike is designed with a liquid cooled engine which means that it, it is meant to be in this type of environment it's not going to overheat you're not going to run into any problems mechanical problems or anything like that from sitting in traffic so i mean if the bike can handle it and you should be able to handle it too it's not that big of a deal as far as comfort um uh, one of the things i hear a lot is, uh, is people complaining that the bike's too small that you know oh you're six feet you can't fit on the bike okay i'm six foot one and weigh 180 pounds and this bike fits me pretty much like a glove i mean it is my first bike but uh and i could see how the the legs come up a little high on it um or whatever but i mean i can still ride the shit out of this thing no problem and I don't get I don't get uncomfortable on it after a couple hours, like I would uh, probably on a Super Sport or something like that. So the roads down here are pretty shitty, and uh, I've got the suspension set uh, per the the manual for my weight range, and um, I mean it is no problem at all. Just hitting all these bumps in this traffic, bump, 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 over and over and over again and uh it it doesn't doesn't phase you it's a great suspension i've got on this bike no problem getting up and going when you need it to at all i was barely giving it gas back there and it still just it got right up there from i don't know what was i doing like 50 60 right up to 80. no problem at all and the brakes are awesome on this bike uh, compared to the little uh, Street 500 that I learned to ride on. This bike has dual front disc brakes and each caliper has a dual piston. You get great stopping power. It's not a soft, uh, nothing, nothing like that. It's a little pull in third gear. You can just cut through some traffic on this bike, man. Not like any other Harley. Maybe a Sportster 883 or 48, but 
this this has just got the suspension it's got the sporty aggressive stance on the bike it's just a, it's an overall great bike it's perfect it's meant for this kind of shit So there's a little pull in six gear. You can see I got around those cars. No problem. Didn't have to downshift. This bike has plenty of power. God, this thing just climbs up to 100 so fast. Kills me people buy these old used police cars at auctions and shit. It's hilarious. They'll leave the leave all the numbers and badges and stuff on them. It's times like these I wish lane splitting was legal in the state of Alabama. Why can't lane splitting be legal? So even right then the, the heat is sitting right there, it wasn't a big deal. Just wear some pants, quit being a pansy. Now you can hear that fan kick on, and I mean the right side does get a little hotter because that's where the exhaust is. That's kind of how the shit works, but if you keep your foot kind of up on the brake, you wear a thick leather boot. I mean, I don't I don't really have a problem with the heat. Cause what I'm gonna be sitting here for a minute, two minutes. It's not like I'm here for four hours sitting on the bike while it's running and if you can't fucking deal with it turn it off look at that holy shit it's not hot anymore what do you know it's where the flip up helmet comes in handy too and just like that magical the heat's gone I mean, what motorcycle doesn't get hot when you're just sitting there? I'm pretty sure most of them do. Yeah, it's gonna be hot. It is a chunk of steel and iron with explosions happening inside of it. It's gonna be hot. Deal with it. But no, this bike is not that hot. Like, it's not to the point where you can't deal with it. It's not that bad at all. There's nothing better than riding your motorcycle home from work is the ultimate freedom. Last 10, 20 minutes, knowing you're about to be able to not just get off work, but go for a ride. And know you're not gonna save any money on gas if you buy a motorcycle. You're gonna ride it more, you're gonna take the long way home, and the payments, I mean, come on now. Where's that gas, that's gas money that you would've put in your car or spin on other stupid shit you don't need. You need a motorcycle. Damn, I love this bike. I know how that feels. That sucks. That sucks bad. I've been pulled over on this road a couple times. Man, you're probably speeding the school zone too. That sucks. That's a bitch. Don't want another speeding ticket. So right.
Oh, hell yeah. Glad I wasn't speeding. Now he's gone, we can speed. Not worth it today or tomorrow.